Hey guys, Forest Geckos here again, and uh, this is my part two on the hydroponic uh, grow, growing for reptiles video, uh, mostly for my Euromastics and my uh, my uh, tortoise. So, <clears throat> where what things that you're gonna need is the plants. Now, as you guys know, uh, these plants um, I grew, I started growing last week. Uh, they've actually been. Um, only about six days um, yesterday I noticed that I pulled them up and I got saw some roots as you guys can see right there that's about where you want to start them out that's when you want to pull them out from here so uh, yeah so like I said um, you know like that one has just one little singular root popping out that's where you want to do it you can let them grow a little bit longer if you want to but you don't have to so you need that you need your grow box you need a, an aquarium uh, bubbler as well as an aquarium pump for the bubbler um, the bubble rock or whatever it's called I'm not exactly sure you need a lid for this and in your bin you want to make it opaque because light is the killer to roots so you're gonna need this the lid for it cut out this is three inch net pots and as you can see they just fit right in there okay and you don't want your water level to touch the bottom of this you want your roots to reach so there's that. You want some hydro balls or hydroponic clay pebbles or whatever. This is the same amount or the same I used last time I did this. So um, I just boiled these, reused them. You want your pH pen or a pH test kit. You want your nutrients. Um, for this one, I use Medusa's Magic and Gaia Mania. And those are the two that I'm using. Um, and yeah, so that's it. So this water in here is already pH balanced, but I'm gonna have to do it again. Um, oh, you also wanna use your lemon um, that I showed you guys last time. I'm not gonna use lemon in this one. I am gonna use the pH down just because it's quicker for me and we're actually out of lemons. So what I do is I use two teaspoons of Medusa's Magic. I use two teaspoons of Gaia Mania and I got that mix right here. So there's four teaspoons in there. Let me see if you guys can see it. So there is four teaspoons in there. And then you just pour this directly into your water. And then rinse it out. And stir. Make sure it gets good and even in there. Kind of turns your water cloudy then you rinse your pipette out because that's what I used to stir then you take your pH pen and you test it again so mine's actually at 5.3 so I'm actually going to have to use my pH up in this one. One second, guys. Cool. So I'm going to use the pH up. And like the pH down, guys, it just takes a little bit. You know, a few drops. So... And like I said, you want it right about 6.0 or very close to. Stir it again. Test it. Still a little low.
Sorry guys, sometimes it's kind of a pain in the butt just to get this just right. So now I'm right about at that range, it's 5.9 again, just like last time. So that's what we're going to deal with today. And that should be fine, like I said, 6.05, um, 0.9 is going to be just fine too, you're not going to hurt it at 5.9. So that's pretty good. So now that you got that all mixed up and ready, you are now going to put the cap on. And now you got your nutrients and everything else in there. Then you're going to take your net cup and just drop each one in. And now your net cups should sit a little bit above the water. And uh, I did start growing endive uh, last time, like you said. I'm not going to plant the endive today because I actually have a different kind of endive. Um, that I'm actually going to do instead, um, although I do not have that ready. So, what you're going to do, what you're going to do is you're going to take these, and as you can see, they have roots, okay? So, they have the roots, and it may take a couple days for these to reach water, but they will reach water. You just put a little bit of the balls in, put your whole little piece of your rock wool in there. Like I said, it will reach it, just take some time, you want it to get all the way around, it's okay, you're not going to hurt the, the plant. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill all these up, and uh, then we'll continue the video. All right, guys. So as you can see, I filled all those in. Um, like I said, that three, those three over there, don't have the farthest three, don't have any plants in them at the moment. And that is because um, I'm growing a different kind of escarole over again. So that's what's up with that. So as you can see, those are there. Um, the air pump I put up here. Put the air pump back here, and then the line is you can see it running down a clear line into it okay now you can change how much water flow or air flow is on this so if you look in there you can see that there's a lot of air bubbles going in and you can turn it down to be very little so you put them up um, and now this only needs to run as your lights run so, and then you can see my grow lights right here. This is here, and so those will grow up nicely. Um, I'm actually gonna take this and raise it a little bit closer to the light, but I just wanted you guys to kind of see how to do it. So that is all you have to do, um, and I will give you guys an update in about a week or two weeks or something like that. I'll give you guys an update so you guys can see how these uh, plants have grown. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all I have, guys, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Also, guys, one more thing that I wanted to throw in is uh, how I said that the roots, they aren't reaching down yet. Um, you want to, like, take your pipette and get a little bit of those nutrients, uh, water that's in this tub, and just kind of let them go inside the rock wool. Um, just to keep these moist, just for the first couple days until you actually see roots underneath here touching the water okay guys and one more thing um, if you see what I did over here I'm actually just trying this out because I did want to start a different plant so I actually put the the seeds of the new plant that I'm growing right in there and put just little cups on to try to hold the humidity in versus using the dome 
Um, but anyways, what I was going to say, the one last thing, is that with the nutrients, okay, so like, what I'll do now is I'll wait until the nutrients have gone almost, like, almost under the air, bubble, air stone. And then I'll fill it back up and let it go down again. Then I'll change out the water completely, put new water in, and then put new nutrients in. So that's just what I do. But yeah, just uh, that's the last bit, guys. All right. Rate, subscribe, comment. Thanks.